Hey guys, I'm back and it is time again for another update on the mature American chestnut trees. This will be our early summer update. Let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so first up is our one smaller American chestnut tree, which the importance of this tree is very big because we have the big one over there that has to be pollinated and this is the only specimen that can do it. So, do we have pollen this year? I don't know. I can't see to the top. I think I keep seeing a couple pollen strands up there, but I'm not quite sure yet. I just don't know. I think I saw a few, but I'm not sure if we have pollen or not. But the tree is looking really good. Sad news is, if you look right here, this stupid maple tree is still alive. I don't know why that didn't kill it. I guess there was still some um, sap, water, whatever in the tree. So that's what caused it to be able to leaf out. I mean, some of the, the leaves are starting to get discolored, so hopefully they fall off. But yeah, that is unfortunate. That one over there, same thing, still has leaves. I do believe, though, if these were, would have been gone, this tree definitely would have pollinated this year. I just didn't wasn't able to cut them down. I should come in here with a machete. I think I could handle cutting out the machete. Get that side down, and that'd be a lot of extra light into the tree. But I don't know if this tree has pollen this year or not. I can't quite see. I can't quite see if it does or not. I really hope it does, but I, I just can't see any. Let's go over here. As you can see, the stem, I guess I would say, seems to be doing pretty good. I don't see any blight that is taking hold. I don't see any blight that's taking hold on the tree. I mean, I see some that's climbing, but they are being healed up. So, this tree is showing promising results. We're like a little bit of a size comparison pretty decent sized tree to find an american chestnut even this size and this is the third this is the um second biggest now since that one died and it is very rare to find one even this size i would consider this a small tree everyone would consider this a small tree but even to find one this size that doesn't have blight all over it is very rare just come around here. Nothing that worries me. Like even some of like the cracks that I thought were blight seem to be gone. So we are good so far. So far, so good. Try to come around here and get this angle. Yep, I don't see anything that worries me. We're doing really good. Definitely showing some blight. Tolerance. We come over here. Just overall looking great. Let's try to get a zoom up here. I don't know if you guys can spot pollen, but I'm not able to. I thought I saw a few strands. There still could be. I just can't see it. Wish I had a drone. But you know, I really hope this tree this year is able to pollinate that other one. Even if we get a few strands of pollen, we'll get a few nuts. So let's just hope for the best that this tree can produce some pollen. Stupid maple tree, you are bad, and so are you. It's your fault. <laughs> but this tree is rapidly growing. Like in the last two years since discovery, it's probably jumped like two feet. So, <laughs> all right, guys, on to the next tree. Da, da 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 here we come to the mother of all American chestnut trees. The leaves seem to be less um, dense this year, but overall seems to be pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. There's a ton of pollen on this tree, a ton. Really stinks that that other tree is not, um, we're not sure if it has pollen yet. I hope it does, hope it has some strands up there that I just can't see, and maybe they're still coming out. I just need to... I just wonder why those maples over there haven't died, but as you can see, that's a lot of pollen on this behemoth of a tree. 
Let's come on over here. Some people like to look at the leaves. I wouldn't even consider this like a big tree. This to me would be a, this to me would be a semi-decent sized tree, but this is definitely not a big tree. Obviously, American chestnut standards, this tree is huge. You barely ever find them like this, but my standards, this wouldn't classify as a big tree. This would classify as a, a decent sized tree. Come over here, look at the stem of the tree. This tree is getting bigger. <laughs> I can just notice the, it's, it's just getting a lot. It's getting a lot bigger and fast. Um, I don't see anything that concerns me. Um, I'm not sure what that is. That, I don't know. I don't know if that really concerns me or not, but maybe I'll just pack that just in case. Overall, I don't see any, I don't see any blight that's taking hold. This tree definitely has to have some kind of, you know, tolerance because it's doing well. As you can see, that right there has been attacked by blight constantly. Those are new cracks. But I don't see any um, deep, I see no deep wounds in the tree. This tree, this tree is definitely special. I don't see any, they look like wounds, but they're, they're closed go on up you can see the blight was climbing a little bit but nothing nothing that concerns me I'm really impressed with this tree this tree how long will it last I have no idea no one's gonna have any idea we'll see how long it does last but man, so far so good it's a leaf on the ground get it get an angle from here I love this tree I know it's just a tree but it's a special tree oh gotta show you guys this I didn't notice that a second ago as you can see blight trying to trying to take hold but it doesn't look like it's doing anything some big gashes, I think, from years past. But overall, nothing too concerning. We got some fresh, some fresh blight wounds right there. Just the little cracks that are beginning to start. But I think I have enough confidence in this tree that they will be closed up. Closed up pretty quickly. So we'll we'll just see what happens. And if, if anything concerns me too much, we will pack it because we're not going to let this tree go. This tree needs to survive. I want it to survive forever, but I will be happy if this tree lasts long enough to get a couple like big crops of nuts off it once that little tree is able to pollinate. All right, guys, I have talked about this tree, I think, enough. It's time to get on to the others. Okay, guys, here we are to the, the very ugly one. Nothing really has changed with it. Except these branches have gotten bigger and they grew some more branches, but it's still dead. So, yeah. I don't know. Some people said to cut it off, probably like right there. I don't know what to really do with it. When you look down here, all these like stump sprouts, the deer keep eating them off and there's so many of them. That's never going to create a tree. So, I'm not really sure. I guess leave your advice in the comment section, but. It's trying to come back. I don't know how these branches are going to do that are shooting off in a couple years. I don't know. Because it might end up, the blight might end up going the whole way around to that one little spot that's left. But very sad. All right, guys. Not too much on this tree. Rest in peace. Going down the hill a little bit, we have our new discoveries last fall I believe on the stem nothing no blight wounds at all getting some growth on it 
seems like a very healthy tree so far. Um, it should be able to go out that hole right there. This tree is obviously in the way, but I don't know if I it'll ever get cut down. I mean, maybe eventually, but it'll get sunlight right through there. Seems like it's doing good. Not like too much to say about it. Obviously not ready to produce pollen, but it's reaching for the sun. Going back up the hill a little bit, we have this other American chestnut tree, which is very important because the other one's right over there. So definitely be able to pollinate each other in the future. Now this one has blight wounds, but they are so far, they seem to be growing shut. That's a little bit deeper of one, but I mean, it's still doing its best. Definitely not as good of genetics as the other ones, but not nothing too like serious, I see. Nothing I'm worried about. I mean, I packed some last year because I wasn't sure what they were gonna do. Here's the ones I packed. The stuff fell out of them. But I don't know. I don't know how long this tree will last, but definitely I just stuck my arm in a cobweb. <coughs> definitely doing okay so far. I mean, better than most American chestnuts. It's size. Decent height on the tree. Obviously not the biggest, but impressive overall. So just an honorable mention, this is by the road. The little American chestnut tree. This is about the average size of the ones you find in the wild, but cool to see overall. Thank you guys for watching my early summer update on the mature American chestnut trees. It's, it's very interesting to see like how things change even over a couple months with the trees and blight. So we'll see what happens. Hope, really hoping that little tree can pollinate the big one, but you know, we just gotta wait and see. So if you want to comment on those maples, why they're still alive, go right ahead. And as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell and subscribe for more content. Share this video if you'd like, and I'll see you guys later.